Hell, no! Okay, so are you going to explain what the hell's going on? I, I appreciate being able to crash on your couch last night, but... Look, I get that this is all really weird, but there are a few things you need to understand. And I promise that it'll all make sense. Or at least it will if you keep an open mind. Open mind! My second floor closet door opened a... Well, I don't know, a portal? I was looking at an open field from my second floor. I think my mind is about as open as it's gonna get. Well, I guess the first thing you should know is that uh, this is so hard to say. Well, spit it out then. Okay, okay. Look, I knew you were going to move into that house. I. I've kind of been waiting for you for a few years now. How... How could you possibly have known that? I wasn't stalking you. I've been trying to keep an eye on you. You know, so that you were safe. I knew you'd be moving in yesterday because, well, I know some things about your grandmother. Your whole family, actually. That's some pretty heavy stuff to lay on someone you just met last night. Uh, I know, but just listen. Have you ever wondered why you were adopted? I mean, like, what actually happened to your mom? Or why your dad didn't take you in? Not really. I told that my mom died during childbirth and there was no other family. That was a lie. You did have a family. You had a brother and a sister. And your mom didn't die during childbirth. She was murdered. And she was pregnant with you when it happened. Shit, are you serious? Who told you this? It's not like anyone would have told me if it was true. And even if it is, I'm sure the records would have been buried. How did you find this out? I was adopted too. Huh? After the incident, I was injured pretty bad. A shotgun blast at close range will do that. The doctor said that my amnesia was a result of the trauma, and it took most of my life to recover my memory of what happened. Wait. You're saying what I think you're saying. About five years ago, I started to remember things and started searching for answers about what happened. That's when I found out you were alive. That you survived too. No fucking way. This is impossible. Daniel, I. I know it's a lot, but I'm your sister. No. I... I can't believe that. Well, it's true. I was there. Being honest, I honestly did wonder. You know, in that other life, I could have had. I just didn't think I'd find out I was part of something crazy like this. Yeah, it's crazy. Unless you know what good old grandma was up to. Best I can piece it together, she was someone pretty high up in a secret society. And whatever cult she was a part of had her brainwash our father into doing it. That doesn't make any sense. What purpose could she or they possibly have had to mind control some guy into killing his family? Well, 
What little I found out about the cult says that they needed a child to be born from extreme trauma. An act of violence that could force its birth so that the child could act as a vessel for... Well, I really don't know. A vessel for something not good. And that child would have to attain maturity before being of use to them. You mean? Yeah, you know what today is. My fucking birth. Bingo! Why do you think you were finally able to move into Grandma's house yesterday? The very day before your 18th birthday? Because they planned on doing whatever they intended as soon as you were... of age. So, how did you stay off Grandma's radar? I mean, you live next door. How did she not know? I moved into that house two years ago. By then, I knew there was no way she'd recognize me. You weren't born yet, but the last time she came to visit, I was only a year old. So, when I got the house next to hers, I just kept my head down and avoided her as much as I could. While keeping an eye on everything. Oh, man, this is all too much. So, now we're going where? And why are we going to wherever it is that we're going? I was able to track down where our family was supposedly buried. And... Well, there's something I need to see for myself before I know what to do next. Yeah? What's that? I need to know if our dad is buried there, too. Fuck. We're getting close, and I'll get my answers. And yours, real soon. I know this is a lot. Are you okay? Fuck. I always figured something would happen, and my real family would come find me. Expect it to be. Daniel, look out! Holy shit. Oh. That was way too close. Well, we aren't far from where we need to go. Looks like there's a trail over there that we can take to where the gravesite is. Alright. As we walk from here. Yeah, it shouldn't be a bad hike, but you go on ahead. I need to grab my bag from the trunk and handle a little something. I'll join you when I'm done. Uh, what? No, we should stick together. Go on, you big baby. I was going to send you on ahead this whole time. I just need to do this one thing really quick. Alone. Fine, Uh, whatever. Just be careful. Call me if you need a hand, I guess. Thanks, but I'll be okay. I promise it won't take long. It'll be worth it. Oh, and one more thing. Holy shit, Martha, a gun? Really? When I first found out about you, I started looking further into the society that Grandma belonged to. I wasn't able to dig up much, but I did find out about a gathering they were having. I managed to find a place to hide and watch, and during the meeting, well, I stole this. It's some kind of relic for them. Seriously? A relic? It's just a fucking handgun. I know it looks like it's nothing special, but the way they were handling it, it was like they were touching Excalibur or something. I want you to take it, just to be safe. I already took it to a gun range and tested it. It works just like a normal gun. (laughs) You're joking, right? I've never even held a gun before. Just take it. I'll feel better knowing you've got something to defend yourself in case those nutjobs come looking for you. Are you 
hurt. No, no, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm just freaked out. I get it. It is spooky out here. Surprised we haven't run into anybody else. But hey, wasn't I supposed to be the one calling you? Yeah, no, you're right. I'm sure I'll still get to play the damsel in distress at some point. But seriously, call me if anything happens. Oh, and uh, thanks for letting me keep Pluck's at your place while we do this. on that. I don't need to worry about it right now. I don't need to worry about it right now. what you mean by okay? I just got attacked by a weird figure faced dog monster. A, a fucking what? No, no, I don't know. I, 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 I can't explain it, but there's something else out of here, too. It's like, it's like the whole world is descending into freaky moan, and we've got front row seat tickets. Uh, uh, You're okay, though? Yeah. I, I could give me that gun, or I would have been monster chow. Glad you're okay. Stay on the path and try to avoid any more encounters if you can. Well.
I don't need to worry about it right now. I don't need to worry about it right now. I don't need to worry about it right now.
came across a river. I'm not really sure which way to go from here. What a lovely day. I, I, I know it's kind of out of the blue, but how much do you remember about it, Dad? I, know, I, I guess all this walking down and thinking about stuff.
gotta be fucking kidding! Uh, uh, this is insane. Where the hell did this thing come from? <laughs> 